Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Our destination this week has its own unique landscape and plenty of fish. The Hobie team is fishing in Cedros Island, Baja, California, Mexico. Keaton took a short flight from Texas to San Diego to join with Morgan. Then they meet up with Jeff Mariani from Cedros Kayak Fishing and begin their journey. They start crossing the U.S.-Mexico border at San Isidro and drive to the city of Ensenada. Then caught a nice little plane, smallest plane I've ever been on, but probably the nicest small plane. Flying into this place is one of the most fun flights you can go on. So you hop on about a 15-seater plane, and it's an hour and 45-minute flight. And the entire time I'm you know, looking out the window trying to spot schools of tuna or see a whale or something interesting like that. And then once you start getting closer to the island, the, the views are just breathtaking. You can see the coastline, the water's absolutely beautiful. And you almost have this like barren desert wasteland meeting the ocean, it's really cool contrast. So this is my third time back to Cedros. Yep, I just can't get enough. My first couple of trips, we got into some really big thresher sharks. Woo! I still haven't got a really big yellowtail, so that's one of the fish that I'm really hoping to catch on this trip and the elusive broomtail grouper. Jeff actually holds the all tackle world record. So the fish weighed in at 108.9 pounds. It was 65 inches long and 44 and three quarter inches round. IGFA has recognized it as the new all tackle world record for broomtail grouper. Nice fish. Oh, it's a halibut. Yeah. It's a halibut. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Dinner. Ha! <sighs> Actually, it's my first halibut. How about that? Nice. <sighs> Out of the rocks. We've been tearing up these calicos on this bait. Beautiful, beautiful. Get this back in the water. Oh, scratch. Oh, that felt good. This Mirage Drive 180 is really key around these little boiler rocks like that. You can just kind of back out when you're getting a little close. And you know, we got a big side wind pushing us down here. And then you got swell coming in. So really having this Mirage Drive 180 is is key to controlling yourself and being able to make those right kind of casts. Here's our first calico on the warbait head. Ooh, that's a heavy fish. Look at that fish. Yeah! <laughs> that is a calico bass. That's what we came for, you guys. Wow. That fish will go eight pounds. Woo! They're just so strong, so much muscle. What's cool about this is you're pausing it, and then they literally yank the rod out of your hand. These fish fight. Believe it or not, I'm going to say they fight better than a largemouth bass. Yep. I wow. Said it. There you go. Wow. Yeah, it's a halibut, it's a halibut. Got him. They go a little bit crazy. It's not as big as Keaton's, but I'll take him. There's another one. There he is. Three halibut in four casts. Can't complain about that. We're definitely looking forward to coming back and uh, chasing those big yellows, maybe some other big species that, that find their way around. The people here are fun, friendly. The atmosphere is great, and you're here to fish, and that's what everyone does here. It's a fishing island, fishing village. Cool place to be.